Set to go racing with the CRA. Vores welding at steel, front wheel drive, compacts division here at the Bearfield Speedway. Part of Asphalt Wars 2011. Steve Vore and J.R. Vester, the front row, and we are racing for 25 laps on the half mile today for the CRA front wheel drive compacts. Usually this division runs the 3 8 track here at Bearfield. Today running the half mile. Coming up the inside, Ryan Hoffman, the 117 car to the inside of Steve Vore. Good battle all up front. One of the more competitive divisions here as of late in CRA competition. Brian Brewer working in the bottom line. Steve Vore so tries to slam the door. He throws the block on the nine car of Greg DeSaint Jean to no avail. Side by side, the 07 car of Steve Vore battling with Kerry Abril. Problems for the 60 car of Brian Brewer. Possibly a tire problem for that 60 car. He's going to drop back to the back of the pack. Justin Brown, the 33 car, working the outside of Jeff Shelmanine and Bobby Smith. Three wide up front, Kerry Abril to the inside of Hoffman, the 14 car, one of the Blaine Miller cars. That's Dalton Parrish. Dalton Parrish in the 14 machine for the Blaine Miller team. Brian Brewer indeed with a flat tire. He's going to have to go to the infield with problems. Front three, single file. Battle still is for fourth on back. Greg DeSaint Jean, Jeff Shelmadine, one of the Jennings cars, and Justin Brown in a good battle down the back straightaway. Dalton Parrish. So the 117 car of Hoffman thought about taking a look on that one. Now the 99 of Bobby Smith. He'll go to the inside of Justin Brown. That's about for the fifth spot. Indeed it is. Shumadine battling with Brown. Smith still battling with Hoffman. A caution flag. Yellow flag got to come out. 44 car. That's Stephanie Bigelow. She has problems down in corner number four. Stephanie Bigelow indeed drawing the caution flag for the first time here today. The leader at the time of the caution flag, Kerry April, is sent to the back of the pack as he is broke out of his qualifying time. So he will be sent to the tail end of the lead lap. Meanwhile, up front, 13 car, Jeff Shumadine, your race leader, Bobby Smith, the outside. Justin Brown, the 33, will round out the top three. And then it will be the 101 car. Here on the restart, getting set to go back. Green flag racing, and we got problems here on the restart. Nine car of Greg D. St. Jean has trouble. One on one car was Rick James. He restarted fourth, and it looks like the nine car of Greg D. St. Jean is not moving. And Brian Duncan will display the caution flag out once again. Field paces down the back straightaway, getting set to go back. Green flag racing. Six laps are in, 19 circuits remaining. Shelmadine and Smith will bring the field to green once again. Shamanai takes the race lead. Smith falls into second. Rick James to the inside of Bobby Smith for second. Battling into the third corner, rather. Third corner. Rick James battling with Smith. Here comes Kyle Crump on the inside of Hoffman. Crump was the quick qualifier earlier. Had to start 14th on the invert. Side by side, a 33 car of Justin Brown. He's working side by side with an nine car of D. St. Jean. Now he'll get past Hoffman. Crump goes to the inside of Bobby Smith for third. Side by 
Crump continues the battle with Bobby Smith through corner number two, down the back straightaway. Crump solidly into the number three spot. Up front, Jeff Schumadine still leads Rick James. Gary April, the 95, gets past the six car of Chris Jennings. Gary April, after having to go to the tail, he'll take up another spot. And he'll set sail on D. St. Jean and Hoffman. D. St. Jean and Hoffman continue to battle side by side down the back straightaway. April closing quickly on the next two cars. The nine car of D. St. Jean slips up just a little bit. April on the inside, three wide down the back straightaway. Just like the paint job, Lightning McQueen, Kerry April up another spot. That puts him sixth. Justin Brown continues the battle with Bobby Smith. Brown around the outside of Smith. He'll take the fourth spot. Up front, Rick James in the 101 car. Looks like he's closing in on Jeff Schumadine. Jennings continues to battle with Hoffman down the back straightaway. Jennings trying to pick up a couple of more spots. Phil Iliff motion to get out of the way. The leaders are coming. Gary April's going to probably need a caution flag if he's going to catch up to the lead five cars. Meanwhile, seven car of Kyle Crump. Looks like he's closing in on the 101 of Rick James. Rick James qualified third here earlier today. Both cars closing in on Shelmadine. Shelmadine, the 2009 Fairfield Speedway track champion in the front wheel drive division. Kyle Crump still battling with the 101. Front lead three cars go around Aaron Teagarden in the 24. 15 laps complete this time by 10 circuits to go. Rick James in the 101's got 10 laps to make a move on the 2009 track champion Jeff Shelmadine, but also try to fend off the seven car of Kyle Crump. Shelmadine continues to battle with lap traffic to go around Brian Martin. Field relatively strung out pretty well all across the racetrack. Rick James still trying to block Kyle Crump, the top qualifier. The lap car of Brian Brewer going to play into a factor of this one. Crump to the outside of James. Shelmadine around Shelmadine. Shelmadine around Brewer, rather. Now James closes in on Shelmadine. The lead three cars get around Brian Brewer. Rick James trying to get around Shelmadine. He's got to look to the inside. Kyle Crump sitting in the catbird seat in third. All the way down in the grass goes Rick James down the front stretch. Front three cars you can throw under a blanket. Down the back stretch. 101 car, Rick James. He's got a fender on Shelmadine down the back stretch. Can he get him this time by? Rounding corners number three and four. Who will it be at the line this time by? It looks like Shelmadine still had it that time by. Rick James still side by side with him. Kyle Crump, the quick qualifier. Takes a look to the outside of both James and Shelmadine. Still side by side for the race lead. Rick James and Jeff Shelmadine battling hard in the final few circuits of the Asphalt Wars 25. 
Rick James. He's going to finally get the race lead from Jeff Shumadine. Not exactly something we've seen too much here at Fairfield Speedway. A non Blaine Miller car out in the race lead. Rick James in the top spot. Now Crump looks to Shumadine for second. Shumadine throws the block. Shumadine gets a little squirrely. He's going to lose the spot now to Crump. Crump to the low side. Great battle here for second. Rick James trying to gap those other two cars just a little bit. Here they come around, this time by two. Circuits remaining for the leader, Rick James. Crump's going to get the spot that time by. As Crump clears, Shumadai. Shumadai going to drop back just a little bit. The battle's going to be here for the lead with less than two laps to go. Rick James and Kyle Crump, the front two cars. Here they come. White flag in the air from Brian Duncan. Rick James, they get around the lap car. Down the back straightaway. It looks like James is pulling away on this one. Rounding corners number three and four. Aleoria, Ohio driver Rick James will round the final corner and win the Asphalt Wars 25. Congratulations goes out to car number 101, Elyria, Ohio driver Rick James picks up his first career CRA front wheel drive compacts feature win.